YouTube, YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Swain. Welcome back to my channel, Truly Indigenous, where the unpopular opinion is popular, man. We're gonna have a dope conversation today. Not a long video, but very informative, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if you enjoy unpopular opinions and you like to talk about those things that most people are afraid to talk about because it's... um you know, it's uncomfortable, then my channel is for you. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and comment as well. It definitely helps the channel and helps the algorithm, guys. But basically, man, little baby, the mother of his children, you know, I saw this video of her basically expressing why she likes thugs, right? And it's just very disgusting, man. And I don't think people are seeing the big picture and the agenda that's being pushed within the black community. So without further ado, man, I'm gonna play this video, guys, because women like this are the downfall of black men, bro. Women like this are the reason so many black men are subpar and are taking L's in society today. So I'm gonna let the video play, man, and we gonna come back and we gonna chop it up. Let's get it. You gotta be like, you gotta be hood. I only keep with hood niggas. I don't want nothing that's not hood. You gotta carry a gun. You don't carry a gun. Don't want you in my space. Jada, like he couldn't be like a soccer player, like a like a million billion dollar soccer player. Like he gotta have that like gangster greasy to him. Oh, but you are play. like a suburban girl. Like you're. A suburban. I know. I'm a. I literally am a suburban girl. Like private school, Catholic school. But I always was attracted to. Those so you just like a thug thing. Yeah. I feel like very, 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 very sad, man. Um, but I'm not surprised because I did a video about a year ago and I told you all that most black women desire a thug. And this is why not only are women, I mean, not only are men um, victims of this type of mass media propaganda, but women are as well because this type of um, uh, content that's being shared across millions of people's feed is warping the minds of our women. It's confusing our women into thinking that they want a subpar man and that a subpar man in the black community is what is pushed off and presented as alpha. Subpar is being a thug, going to jail, bragging about killing people, bragging about getting shot, bragging about going to jail. Why are these things a badge of honor in the black community? Why do black men feel so entitled or not necessarily entitled, but they feel the need to have to portray a persona to, as a thug or to be a thug? That's a rhetorical question because this type of content is the reason why. When you have women like this, those of y'all who don't know who that is, that's little babies. The, that's the mother of his children. And she's up here letting you know why she can only date a thug. And you got to think about the guys who do not have the intellect to decipher from real and fake. Because this is a um, fake reality, guys. This is not real. This is a fake reality. You know, you think about Lil Baby. He's a rapper. He's successful. So to the, to the guy, the blue pill beta male guy who doesn't understand... What real reality is, he thinks, okay, if I embody a thug, more women will like me. And, and what is his end result? Dead or in jail. This is a, is a this is a tactic that they use to keep the black community at bay in a way. It's basically controlling our society because they know and they can always count on a certain percentage of the population of men will fall victim to chasing the, the thug life and he will be dead and in jail. They always have a different um, pawn or a different puppet perpetuating thug life. At one point in time, it was Tupac. You know, now it's our modern day rappers. You understand what I'm saying? And none of these people, these celebrities are adding value to your life, guys. They do not add value to your life. They only sell you a facade and a dream because they are being paid to lie and deceive. This is why they put women like this in the forefront. And the bad thing is that our women, especially in the black community. Now, I will say that um, this will is starting to affect more nationalities outside of the black community because of social media. And social media is a melting pot and it reaches all different nationalities. And, you know, you have a 
whole bunch of different type of people on one big platform like Instagram. So they're all kind of seeing the same recycled information. So it's affecting uh, other races as well, but it's still affecting us most, uh, the most, because it is our women who think a thug is alpha. And it's not. That is a failure. That is a subpar man. And the only men who fall victim to this, this type of rhetoric is beta males. Beta males are controlled by women. See, when you alpha, you're going to be able to say no to certain women who want you to possess things that are going to cause a detriment to your life. I remember one time I met a chick and I thought that she was pretty attractive and we chopping it up on FaceTime. She was just like, you just not a thug enough for me. I like street dudes. You're not no street nigga. You're not no thug. You know what I'm saying? You cute, but you just ain't no thug. And I said, all right, it was nice talking to you. And I just hung up the phone because I'm not going to lessen myself as a man to fit in the shoes of what you think a man is. And this only works on beta males. And, and the reason that it seems like it's working more than it actually should is because most men are beta males. Most men are beta males. So this is going to work on a large percentage of black men, right? right, And they're going to take this as um, gospel and they're going to embody it. That's why you have all of these dudes, a great amount of, of men in the black community who are wannabe thugs. They act like thugs. They, they go on their Instagram, they sagging their pants, they flexing guns, smoking online, smoking weed online. You know, everybody wants to be a rapper now. Everybody acting like they moving bricks and catching bodies. And it's just very very sad and when you break it all down they're only doing it because they want to appease women bro that's it that's why they say women run the world and in actuality you know pussy power does have power for beta males bro i'm gonna keep it 100 with you this does work for beta males women like this are scum they're trash megan the stallion cardi b Nicki minaj all of these plastic body botched built women um, Kim Kardashian, uh, Glow, uh, Glorilla, all of these women have toxic um, energy about them and they're very overly masculine and they're only put into the forefront to basically warp the minds of modern day women. And this is why modern day women, a lot of them are trash. They're not even worth you wifing because they want you to be a traditional man, a gentleman, provide, protect and all of these things. But you are left with a basically modern day hoe. Because a lot of these, the, the, and it's not, these women like Kim Kardashian, Megan Thee Stallion, Jada, all of these women, uh, what's, what's, what's uh, Blueface's girl, girlfriend name, Krishan Rock, these are all glorified hoes. They're all glorified hoes. If you listen to their music, it's extremely toxic. The reason that they even have anxiety is because, let me tell you something, women were not built to have a lot of sexual partners, bro. They were not designed for that. This is why the more sexual partners she has, the more anxiety she has. If you listen to a lot of these women, they always talk about dealing with anxiety. Well, I deal with anxiety and I was hurt. One of the telltale signs that you're dealing with a woman that has a troubled past or a very promiscuous past in a lot of cases, when she has a bunch of outlandish tattoos, dyeing her hair, face piercings, um, all these outlandish looks. These women are trying to cover up the scars of their promiscuous past because the anxiety is killing them inside. Because women were not designed to be that way. So they put these women in the forefront and they put these women on a, on a platform where they can reach the masses of people. And then you have our women following these women. And then these women, they, 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 they uh, share their opinions and ideas on their social media pages that are extremely toxic, such as what Jada was talking about. She ain't even from the streets. She not, she's from the suburbs, but yes, she still want a thug. So what do you think the younger women growing up are going to want or desire? Oh, I want a thug. If I'm that type of woman, then I can get a man like Lil Baby. He's successful because at the end of the day, no matter if they're a hoe or not, they're still hypergamous, guys. So they're still going to want to get the, 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 the top of the top when it comes to men. And if she got one, well, all I have to do is be like her and then I can get one. And then on the on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have men who want to have a lot of women uh, chasing them. So they'd be like, oh, well, little baby is, you know, he has a thug persona. So if I have a thug persona and I do this, women are going to want me. 
And it's just, it's just horrible. This is the world that we live in, and this idea is what destroys black men. Because being a thug is subpar. Going to jail is subpar. Getting shot, getting killed, or 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 catching a body, or all of that stuff is just is is extremely, extremely toxic. It's failure. And it's sad that this is what our legacy as black people. And I'm not pro-black or anything, but it's just very, very sad that that this is. Is what is thought about us. Other races laugh at us, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Because we glorify failure. We're the only group of people that glorify failure. And it is dumb on your part as a woman to want a thug because guess what? He ain't going to be there for your kids. So when he's dead or in jail, now you a single mom. And now you mad that you can't find another dude to love your children the way <coughs> the father of those children would love them. You know how delusional that is? To think that another man is going to love your kids the way you love your kids who didn't father them children, bro. Do y'all, a lot of, I don't think women understand the disservice that they're doing themselves by becoming single mothers. Because you're choosing to become a single mother when you date men who are failures. And then you're mad at society because you're devalued greatly, right? Now, it's one thing if, you know... A marriage doesn't work and you're with a guy who was actually trying to be there. Y'all tried to make it work and it didn't work out. Marriage marriage is is not a permanent thing, right? We we know that, that those can fail. But I'm I'm talking about the women who choose these failures as men to be the fathers of their children, and then they complain that oh black men ain't shit. No, the particular type of black men that you're choosing. These guys are losers, they're failures. You know they're beta males because they're trying to fit into a, a mold of what you designed of what a man should be. And you're a woman, so you can't tell us what a man should be. These guys are not are not are not man enough to say, you know what, I'm not tolerating this buffoonery and I don't need you because they have not created options for themselves. They're literally living their lives appeasing women, bro. And this is why women like this are the downfall to so many black men. You actually are your own downfall because you have you have yet to unplug from the matrix. But because you are still plugged into the matrix, you can't see that this type of woman is going to trip you up. You know, she says she don't care. She don't be with guys who don't carry a weapon, who don't have a gun. I understand that. I think as a man, our job is to protect and provide. And as a man, you're doing yourself a great disservice by not having a firearm. I have a firearm. I keep it on me at all times because I want to be able to protect myself and who is with me because as a man, that's my job. But if you are a felon and you can't get a gun, that's one thing, right? But if you are a guy that's just walking around here lackadaisical and, and, and you don't have a way to protect yourself, then that's a problem. I can understand her wanting that. Women want to feel safe with men, but when he has to embody the thug persona along with it is where the toxicity comes in, bro. And as a man, you have to be able to decipher and you have to be able to see a, a, um, a wolf in sheep's clothing, man. You got to be able to, to understand that a lot of these women are very, very detrimental to you. I don't care how beautiful she looks. I don't care how thick she is. I don't care how great the sex with her is. A lot of these women don't mean you any good. And it will cause you to be in a position of failure if you allow these women to dictate what it is that a man should be, right? But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoy content like this, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I will continue to make videos that will provoke thought and that will discuss the unpopular opinion. But that's it for the video. Until next time, fellas, peace.